Hi everyone, welcome to Yarn Witch Crafts, my little corner of the internet where I like to talk about crochet and kind of what's going on with my life. Um, you can find me at Yarn Witch Crafts on Instagram. Um, I'm also on TikTok if you want to find me there, but primarily I post on Instagram and I will do my tag down in the description below. Um, I've been seeing everybody do all these 2022 wrap ups and I thought that would be really fun. So here is my 2022 crochet wrap up video. I am going to be referencing the pattern and I will put um, links below for all the different crochet designers. I did a lot of different pattern testing this year and so I want to show it off. So let's get started. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to be showing off is a pattern of my own that's yet to be released. I'm calling it I Like Big Brims Beanie. I like to use a lot of puns for my stuff, so that's kind of what I go with. Um, it's just a simple ribbed beanie, um, but what's a little bit different is you're doing single crochets through here, and you do a single crochet along here. This is half double crochets, and this is double crochets. It creates a really nice folded brim and keeps it staying folded up. I'm going to still working on the pattern. I think it might be a freebie pattern and I'll actually do the instructional on YouTube, but we'll, we'll see. I haven't decided yet, but I think it's really cute, really fun. The colors were really bright and cherry, which is exactly what I needed during this cold, dreary winter. <laughs> the next pattern I'm going to be talking about is the Red Wednesday collar. Um, again, I will link the pattern designer below, but it's Roselle Craft. Um, she released two different collar patterns. I tested the Wednesday version. Um, I just think this is beautiful. I really love it. It came out really nice and it's a really quick make. Um, super easy. The next thing I am going to be talking about is this purple beret pattern. Um, this is one actually that I'm creating. I haven't even done the second version yet to test it. I just think it's very pretty and fun. I like to do things that keep you kind of occupied without being too complicated. It's an easy like TV watching crochet. <laughs> the next pattern I'm going to be talking about is the pack leader beanie by the weaving witch on Instagram. Um, I actually made two versions of this. This is the first one, which is mine. It has color work. As you can see, I haven't woven in all the ends yet. And then I actually made it again in black and red as a Christmas gift for my husband. And here is the city straw sweater. It's by just the worsted on Instagram. I love this sweater. I did went for a looser fit. It's super comfy, really quick make. I did I just did a uh, how I would style it video on my Instagram that you can check out where I did running errands, a date night, um, comfy around the house, how I wear it to work, all that fun stuff. So get, check that out if you're interested. This next top is one that I'm really obsessed with. Um, I'm calling it my damn top. Um, because it spells out damn on it. Uh, it was actually kind of a test crochet, so Naughty Makes reached out to me and she was doing a dishcloth with the word damn on it. She asked me if I would test it and I said yes, of course, that sounds super fun, but I'm not really one to use crochet dishcloths. I know a lot of people love them, that's just not my vibe. So I made it, but then I ended up branching out and kind of just winging my own pattern and freehanding the rest. Um, so I did some double crochets off of it and then some granny clusters and I kind of just went from there. And the back is all double crochets. This is um, fingering weight cotton yarn from Hobie. I just really love it. I like the little light green color. I just think it's a really fun top and I was really happy to test crochet this and then build it off to something that I would use. So it was a great, fun, easy summer make. I did a lot of the crocheting actually in the car on a road trip. So, And I was stoked when I tried it on the first time and it fit exactly the way I wanted it because without trying it on back and forth, it could be kind of hit or miss. So that was very lucky. <laughs> the next thing I made in 2022 is this lovely um, granny cluster shawl or a scarf. I really like this. This was just one skein of um, one of the Lion Brand yarns where they do the color alternating. I'm totally blanking on the name right now, but it's very squishy. I loved it. I whipped this up pretty quickly and then I actually made a knot at the end so that it would stay wrapped around. 
but yeah really nice super pretty very happy with it not much else to say I just kind of free handed it now this is another sweater that I free handed it was actually inspired though by designs by blemish design on Instagram she does some really, really fabulous um, hexagon cardigans and hexagon style sweaters. And she did um, different granny squares in the middle and I just was obsessed. I loved it. The second I saw one of the versions, I knew I had to make my own. So that's what I did. Um, I went for a little bit oversized, but not as oversized as her styles. And I did a different style of granny square in the middle. This one is the sunburst one. Uh, but I love it. I wish I had done the collar a little bit differently. It's a little high on my neck, which I don't love, but I'm still really happy with the, how it turned out. I love the way the ribbing looks on the bottom and the sleeves. I love a high sleeve ribbing. Um, it just really appeals to me, and I think the sweater turned out beautifully. This is what the back looks like. I like that each section kind of looks a little bit different with the color changing yarn. And I'm just so happy with it. I haven't had a chance to wear it out in public yet, um, but I'll hopefully do, be doing a styling video on my Instagram soon. This next one is just a quick little market bag. I didn't follow a pattern. I just winged it while I was watching a movie, honestly, but I'm going to be making a few for selling at a local market in town that I'm a part of. Um, I think these will do really well. We moved the market day from Sunday to Saturday um, one day a month and so then I'm going to be it's going to be actually happening during the farmers market so I thought these would be perfect for it I did a round bottom and then I just expanded from there these are just hundred percent cotton I think they're sugar and cream or something like that um, I like that because it's a sturdier yarn it's not one I like to crochet with for any wearable items but I like it for uh, bags and things like that and I liked the black and the white with the teal. I just thought it looked really fun and pretty. The next pattern I'm going to be talking about is one that I'm actually working on. I'm calling it the Bottle Buddy Bag. I created this with three different versions in mind. So we have a can koozie, we have a water bottle holder with the purse strap, and then we also have a kind of wine bottle koozie that you would do without the strap. It's really fun. It's a really quick make. I have it written up. I just actually haven't released it. It's something I kind of just need to do. I might reach out for testers for it. I'm not really sure just to have a few more eyes on the pattern before I release it, but I'm really happy with it. Again, it's one of those ones that you can watch TV, but the stitches change, which just kind of keeps you more engaged in the pattern and not getting bored, which is very much my style. <laughs> the next sweater I'm going to be showing is actually another one of my own designs. It's the Don't Mesh With Me sweater. I'm still workshopping it. The shaping's not quite quite the way I want it to be. Um, so this is kind of version one and I'm working on a second version that I think will be a bit more fitted and cropped. I am happy with this one so I might give like alternate versions during the pattern if you want it to look like this versus the second version which is more appealing to me and I want it to look like a more sweatshirt inspired maybe. Um, and a more closer neck neckline but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I like the ribbing. I like the side detail a lot. I think that's really nice. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it when I've worn it. I like the colors I picked for this sweater a lot. The next one's going to be in like a charcoal gray, but I love an oatmeal and a pumpkin. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. It's just not quite perfect yet. What I have here is the Minimal Wave Tee. It's another test crochet I did for Just the Worsted on Instagram. This one was done in cotton yarn. It was more of a summer make. Because it was a summer make, I wanted it to be a little bit more oversized. Um, so it would be a little bit airier and things like that because it can get pretty toasty here in the summer in Oregon. So I wanted to be really kind of aware of that. I like it to be able to be like tucked in a little in my shorts, like a little French tuck. Um, I thought that looked really cute when I styled it, but this sweater was really fun. I love the color working that went on. I'm really happy with the colors I picked in the design. And then this wasn't part of the pattern, but you could have done like, you know, any different colors on the back. And I chose to do stripes because I just really loved that. I thought that was really fun and unique color play for the front versus the back texture wise. It was just a really great, fun, easy design. 
and I was super happy to test it. I think it turned out beautifully. <laughs> this next test crochet was such a fun one. It was my first one I did for Nessa Knots on Instagram. It was one of the first patterns that she created and released. And it's the uh, crochet slime tote bag. <laughs> Look how fun this is. I'm so obsessed with the slime. I love the way I it turned out. I did a bunch of videos styling it. I still sadly have not lined it yet. It's still on my list of things to do. Um, but it's a great bag. It can fit so much stuff. I love the colors of it. I thought it was so fun. If you go check her out on Instagram, you can see everybody's different versions. They were so freaking creative. Um, it was just so such a fun pattern to test. And there was just like so different, so many different options to make it your own, which I always really, really love. Um, so yeah. Here is my version of the slime tote. The next pattern that I tested last summer was the hip to be square dress by Manatee Squares on Instagram. This is also another make in cotton yarn. I really liked it. It's a funny story though. I absolutely underestimated how much yarn I would need for the dress. So thank goodness for long testing times because I had to reorder more yarn and I ordered it from Hobie, which take, can take a bit to ship. So I was very stressed about getting it, but I absolutely got it in time and I was able to whip it all up. It's individual granny squares. And then I added this different color changing because I thought that made it really interesting. And then I did it on the bottom. So it was diagonal with the matching uh, color changes. It's a really great make. It's surprisingly heavy. It feels like a little bit like you have a blanket on because, you know, granny squares are a lot of yarn. But I like it. I like how it turned out. Um, and the pattern is just fabulous and a quick and like mindless make in a way. I would make it, if I made it again, I want to make it in black actually. And I want to make it a bit shorter, more tunic length. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous dress and I'm very happy with it. <laughs> This was another summer test crochet. It's the Soho Top by Kira Carnival Designs, I believe. Um, I really love this top. Again, it's made in cotton yarn. I ordered the yarn at the same time as I did the Hip to Be Square dress. Um, this is a slightly different yellow though and this great salmon color. And then the white was from Lion Brand. I like this top. I like the boat neck to it. I like the little lace work detail on the sleeves. I've worn this to work and gotten compliments on it. It's just a really cute cotton top to wear in the summer or in the winter too. Um, I love it. It looked super cute with jean shorts, like really cute, which is kind of my vibe. I wore it with Converse, easy to style, easy to wear, quick make, very fun, very easy. Um, great top. <laughs> Another make that I did in 2022 was a phase of life halter top. It was by again the weaving witch. This was my second test crochet for her this year though actually this would have been the first one the beanies came second. Um, I love this top. I actually made two but I only have one to show. This is the one I made for me. I really wanted it to, to be very quirky and fun, so I went with like this bright neon coral color. It's Big Twist Yarn from um, Joann's. And then the purple as the contrast color. Um, it was quick and easy color work. I love the peekaboo cutout and the detailing up top. And then it goes down and laces in the back. And I did these little circling knobs for it that she recommended. I always do my strings really long. Um, because I like it to be really adjustable. I also made this top completely in cotton in blue for the primary color and then white for the contrast color for my mom for her birthday and she loved it. Um, it turned out really good. Uh, it was really easy because the way the sizing is done in the pattern, I was able to use her measurements and make it for her and have it fit perfectly without ever having her there with me because we live in different states. Um, and it still fit perfectly on her. So that is a successful pattern. <laughs> but yeah, I love how it turned out. I just think it's so cute and I'm very happy with it because I chose to do acrylic yarn for mine. It's not really too much of a summer day top, but it's a good um, cooler evening top. 
Definitely. I have styled this with a skirt just because I like that better. So I did a skirt um, with black tights and it turned out it looked fabulous. So win-win there. <laughs> now, besides my damn top that I showed you earlier that I freehanded, this was probably my favorite make of 2022. It involves all of my favorite things. Pink, granny squares, rainbow, sparkles. I love it. This is the Spring Fling Pullover by Just the Worsted. Uh, it's a great fitted sweater. I did the little striping details, um, but I followed the pattern to, down to the exact notes. Um, but I love the sweater. The fit is perfect. I'm just so obsessed. I love the rainbow work and the color changing. I just think it turned out so beautifully. I love the sleeves. They're so squishy. And she did built-in ribbing for the cuffs, which I really liked. I like the way it looks. I like the way it fits. Um, it's just one of my favorite sweaters of 2022, without a doubt. Just gorgeous. <laughs> At the beginning of 2022, I tested this pattern. You can tell because it's a more wintry pattern. Um, so we can tell we're getting back closer to February, January. And this was the Columbia Hoodlet. Um, I will tag the maker down below. It's from Teasons. It's always funny when you try and say um, like the makers from Instagram online because sometimes you're like, okay. <laughs> I have typed this a million times, but I don't know how it's said. <laughs> but she's another Oregon maker. Uh, she's a great pattern designer. I've tested a few of her stuff previously, a really cute bag that I did in 2020, I want to say. Um, so I want to try out her Columbia Hoodlet. It turned out really good, and the fit was great. Um, it has these fun little strings. This is done in a wool blend, I believe. It is very warm and very heavy and cozy. I just love the detail work. I think it's really pretty. I liked the um, kind of ribbing style along the edging. It's just a really cozy make. We haven't had, like it's been really cold in Oregon this last winter, but we haven't had too much where I've gone out in it. But if I do, I will definitely be wearing this. It's making me warm just holding it up to the camera. So you know it's a good winter make. And then to wrap it up with my very first make of 2022, this was the Mountain Lodge Pullover, again, by Jess the Worst on Instagram. I do a lot of tests for her. Her designs are always really fun and fabulous. I really like her crochet style. So I try and do a lot of tests from her if I can. Um, as I always like her work. This one was really fun. So it's granny squares, but it's really interesting color work. Um, and the sleeves were an interesting stitch too. I just really like it. I haven't really had a chance to wear it too much actually. Pulling it out, I was like, I haven't styled this yet. So hopefully there'll be some styling videos on Instagram soon. But I love this sweater. It's really cute. The back is very fun too. It's pretty much identical to the front. Um, but because it's granny squares and I did a little bit of color changing yarn, that kept it really interesting. So I was very happy with that. I also did a bunch of stuff that I am not going to drag out and show you because I think I have shown you plenty. But I did some knitting machine headbands. I did some beanies. I crocheted a lot of earrings and bandanas for markets. A lot of different things like that. But these were my big items to show you. I'm kind of shocked at how much I crocheted in 2022. Like, I'm a little impressed with myself. I'm going to be honest. I worked full time and managed to do all of this. Like, that is shocking. I don't know. I don't know how I did it. Maybe I'm a little bit obsessive. <laughs> but it made for a fun 2022 wrap up. I'll be really curious what 2023 will bring and what crochet projects I'll take on. Hopefully next year at this time, I'll be showing you more of my designs that are actually released and I actually have the guts to release and sell the patterns for instead of just being like, I'm making this pattern. You Maybe I'll release it, maybe I won't. Um, so that is my goal for 2023 is to start releasing my own pattern ideas. So hopefully I follow through with that um, and we'll see that next year. I'll be really curious off the check back. I'll be a tad disappointed if 
I don't. So maybe saying it aloud on YouTube will be the commitment I need to make it happen. I just want to say thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye!